The euro and the pound sterling moved up following a surge in the US inflation. The fugue jumped to 9.1% from 86 versus the forecast reading of 8.8%. So, now there are rumors that the Fed may hike the key rate by 100 basis points at the next meeting. Analysts were assured that the regulator would raise the key rate by 75 basis points before inflation data had been released. A strong increase in inflation made them revise their forecast. And this is a bearish factor for the European currencies. Expectations for a more aggressive rate hike halted a long anticipated correction, although it has been building for a long time and the US dollar is extremely overbought. The price could break through the parity level and then drop below it. Such a sharp decrease may occur after the publication of the US producer price index. The fugue is projected to climb. If so, it will confirm that inflation will not slow down in the near future. Therefore, the likelihood of a 100 basis point rate hike will increase significantly. And let's discuss the trajectory of the euro-dollar pair. Today, the pair tried to rise higher, but the upward momentum was rather weak. The quotes returned to the parity level again, moving in the narrow range. Despite the fact that the euro is oversold, a downtrend prevails and the euro-dollar pair is now trading flat, which indicates the accumulation of a trading forces. It may eventually lead to new price swings. If the price stays below the parity level on the 4-hour chart, the downward cycle will start again despite the signals of a technical indicators. If so, the euro may lose another 150 and 200 pips within the inertial movement. Alternatively, a large-scale correction could begin given the oversold status of the euro and a buy signal may appear if the price rises above 1.01 on the 4-hour chart. After a short-term upward reversal, the GBP USD pair entered the stagnation phase. It's a quite predictable given the high correlation with the Euro USD pair. A correction has again been postponed, which means that beers are still holding the upper hand. There could be an increase in the short positions if the price consolidates below 1.18. If so, the bearish momentum will only intensify, pushing the pair down to a low of 2020. When choosing a trading strategy, keep in mind that the trajectory of the pound sterling is now highly influenced by the euro. In the case of a correction of the euro, the pound sterling will rise as well. How we're going to be in the short term, we will definitely tell you in our next news releases. Don't miss them and stay up to date with the InstaForex TV channel. See you soon!